Hey guys, what's going on? John Hacker for the Go Comics, joined by Boy William Bethay. Today we're going to be talking about Something is Killing the Children, issue 8. Oh yeah. What'd you think, B? Whoo, man. Hey, look. The sheriff has got to be like, I mean, he in this story, he like, what more he can I get? How bad is this going to yeah. be? You know what I'm saying? What? He even suggested, look, how do I kill these aliens? And they like, the guy, hey, no, they ain't aliens. My man like, look, you, you need to tell me something. Because I'm telling you right now, it's too much, okay? I got I got a kid's body there with it. I don't know what to do. I, I need help. He yeah. talked to a little kid in the hospital. I need help. It's, look, not just the, the, the sheriff, not just the, the soldiers that are in this, Erica and Aaron, not, not just the soldiers. Because I think they in over their head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They in over their head. Okay. But now we talk about the people of this town that's losing their kids. And they got to identify bodies. I mean, you know what? I, I mean, we, we ain't got no suspects. <laughs> we yeah. got, we got, we, hey, look, all we know is we got these bodies. They, they, they probably belong to you. Come check them out. This is a hell of, this is a, hell of a story. Yeah, I mean, something killing the children for me. It, it started up here, and then it kind of went down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought issues kind of had pacing, but between seven and eight, they've been pretty strong in telling the story. They're introducing, you know, the House of Slaughter. Yeah. There's this whole Illuminati of of monster hunters out there, and we all we know right now is you know of of Erica and Aaron. Apparently, Aaron's like more. He's like a higher ranking hunter mm -hmm. than she is, um, and like you said, I do feel that both of these people are way in over their head. Yep. And now you have this other guy named Tommy. He's trying to prove himself yep. to, I don't know, to impress his mom, to impress Erica, to impress himself, whatever. And now at the end of this issue, he finds out that he's in way over oh, his mm. head as well. Hey. So it's just, the, there's so much, um, I, I, I guess the word I'm looking for, there's so much um, avenues that yes. this story could take. Because yep. you have the sheriff... He's you. You see his views on it. Oh yeah. You see Erica's. You see the little girls. Now Aaron is kind of feeling like, oh hell, yeah. I gotta come in, and now I gotta be bothered with this. So he's not fully into it, but he's like, all right, I, I have to go and clean it up. Yeah. You know, he, he's kind of being made to do it. Yeah. Um, but he's, yeah. He smacked that old lady. Yeah, he did. Wow. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all frustrating me. I, I need to. I'm okay. When you to the point where you're not polished enough as a soldier to just disregard people because you know you got a threat you got to deal with and that irritates you so bad. You know what I'm saying? He didn't slap the cop. He slapped her. And then if it wasn't for Erica knocking him out, he would have went at the cop. You killing all your, you beating up all your allies before you even get to the test. Yeah. And this is leadership? This is Look, I'm trying to tell you, I love this story. I do. I mean, it, it's also by James Tinian, who is the uh, who's writing Batman right now. Yeah, I gotta give him his props. The man putting together the story. Boom is doing really great stuff with um, with you know these horror books. They have oh, this yeah. and, and Red Mother. Red Mother. Two very great Ooh. books. I definitely think that this could be a TV show. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it's I'm it's it's very well written. I I think there's a lot of. I mean, there's just so much you can do with it. There's, there's, you know. This book, especially how it's drawn, yeah, is so horrifying. Mm -hmm. I mean, it. In the, the I, I love the way, especially the the eyes are drawn, because you really see the struggle going through them when you look at them. Exactly. You see, I mean, you see that pain. Even even the kids, you kind of see that they don't understand exactly what's fully going on, but they scared. Yeah, you know they they scared, and I, and to get that with the way that this is drawn, with the way you see the backgrounds and the wooded areas and things that are just distorted in a certain way. Yeah. it's just yeah. I, I, it sets up a really great creepy tone. I yes. think that's that's been yes. one of this book's. Strongest points. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's weakest point as a as an issue to issue book is that you can read this and it will go like that and it doesn't like I always feel like the books 
don't have enough substance. The single issues do. Oh. And when I like I, look at it from the like this is what I'm trying to say. When I read the first story arc, mm-hmm. okay, I felt that one had a lot. Like I felt like I got a lot out of issue okay. one. Two and three, not so much. Mm-hmm. And then four is like, okay, cool. Back up, up. And then with this, with the previous issue, a lot of stuff gets laid at you. Mm-hmm. And this one, I feel like the book's pace is moving in molasses. Mm-hmm. Like, they're, like I feel like I, I, I read it really fast, yeah. but I don't get enough content out of the book for me. Gotcha. I feel like I need more, more dialogue, more into it. I think... We're in issue eight, and I still really don't know what these monsters are. Yeah. I still really don't know a lot about the House of Slaughter, mm-hmm. who Erica is, what's the deal with Tommy being able to see these entities. I, I still have a lot of questions. I don't know if that's that's what they're going for. Because if it is, I totally understand that. I mean, when you look at certain characters like Wolverine, his biggest his biggest draw was... Who the hell is this guy? Yeah, what is he? Yeah, yeah. You know, any monster movie, what is this thing? There's yeah. that big build up to see what it is. If that's what they're trying to do, I love it. For me, reading a book, though, I want to be able to... I, I need to see the, the inner workings of the story. When I read, that's just how, That's just my opinion. Okay. But overall, I, I do enjoy this book. I'm going to keep on reading it. I definitely think it's something you guys should pick up. Um, this book has been. It's it kind of gets hot every now and then when it, you you try to find it. I know. Oh yeah. For, for a while there, if you weren't uh, if you were pulling this book, it was it was kind of hard to find. I know it was the issue one is a spec book. It still is. I, I looked on eBay last night. It's going from anywhere from one hundred and thirty to two fifty dollars. And this is a book that is not even a year old. Yeah. But so it's yeah. great. Yeah. Definitely check it out on trades if you're behind. Check this book out. Uh, something killing the children. If you like. James Tinian's run on Detective Comics and Batman. I think those are the latest things he's done. It's kind of the writing mimics that a lot. Yes. Um, but overall, B, you know, what you think? Great book? Overall, great book. And it is creepy as hell. That I just, It is creepy as hell. I love it. All right, guys, as always. Thanks for checking us out. Give a like. Give us a, give us a subscribe. Right. Yep. And always hit us up in the comment section. We love having those conversations with you guys. As always, thanks for reading comics and support your local comic book shops. Peace.